Okay, my raid is completely full. Al is taking raids, uh, raid invites at this point. Alicad.
Okay, I seem to have finally got Invent going. Uh, just to let you know, this is Revenar. Um, I am doing a live stream of the Remembrance Day event on Twitch right now. So, um, I've already tweeted out a couple of links to it. I know uh, some of the other people have retweeted the link. So, anybody that can't make it in person might want to make sure they have the links so they can at least watch. Silly me, I was in the wrong chair. Pardon me. But we love you. Thank you. For I am a dude. Oh, wait. I no. Am a doofus. No. So, not knowing how long I've been in the foyer. Um, Since uh, you started. Ah. Uh, uh, how'd I end up there? Oh, okay. Thank you, Ash. So, let me just. Uh, Backtrack a little bit. Riven, are you there? Can you hear us? Yeah, he already announced he's streaming. Alright, alright, thank you. So, here, I'll go again. So, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and uh, my fellow community members, and to our guests, welcome everyone. Um, before we begin, I'd like to publicly thank everyone who has taken upon themselves to help and organize and administer this event. Uh, Riven, are for. Uh, running the stream of this event, for Take, for organizing the, uh, the firework display, to all the officers, of course, in every game that we're in. Cannot do this without you guys. Um, we initially started this event to mourn the passing of Bruce Galloway, who was an individual who represented the very best of this event. Well, then the guild, now community, had to offer. Um, if you needed help or you were confounded with an, with an issue, Bruce was very happy to help you out in any way he possibly could. Since then, this event's been transformed, not necessarily a morning, but now a celebration to remind us and kind of, for, you know, make us sit back and take stock of what the community's means to people and where it's kind of hit. I promised myself I wouldn't choke up. I am failing miserably. Um, this is now the sixth year we've held it, and I'm proud to say that, once again, we the fact that we are holding events in other games as well, um, we are holding it in Warcraft, and we've expanded our community into games like Star Wars The Republic, Rift, Eve Online, and Secret World, and various other games that if I sat here and started listing them all, we would be here all night long, and people would be very upset at me. 
So, just a uh, nod to all the other games who, I, I, for the sake of brevity, I haven't listed. This celebration is meant to define what we are as a gaming community, and that is being positive, being inclusive, and being helpful to each each and every one of us. Um, this guild is all about you guys, and we're here to help each other because we're here to make us all better people. Yeah, you, know, you never thought you'd ever see a silly thing like a video game actually helping to spawn friendships, relationships, potential job opportunities for folks. It really, truly represents what what an ideal community should be. So, at this point, I would like to point and ask Ralph any thoughts, views about where we have been, where we are going. Yeah, I guess um, the last few years we've taken this time to sort of go through a litany of, of those that have passed on that have either been in our guild or been uh, special to people in our guild. And uh, I'd like to take this time, if people in the Ventrilo chat, if there's someone that you're thinking of, uh, especially former guild members, just go ahead and type their name into uh, the Ventrilo chat just to sort of uh, remind everyone else of them. And we're also going to take note of it and, and try and capture that so we can put it up on our write-up about this event. Uh, so anybody that... And don't worry if you've seen uh, someone else already say the name, say it again. And just just keep those coming. If it if you don't think of it right away, you can go ahead and do it later. Also, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I know it's not even really the same category at all, but uh, a friend of ours lost a pet of theirs just a few days ago, and it made me think about um, you know when I've lost pets, and they really are family members also. And uh, I know we have our hunters here in WoW, and their pets are very important to them. And I think uh, if you want to mention any of your pets also, I think that would be fine. wisdom to share with us? Uh, I don't know how wise they are, but I have a thing or two to say. So, uh, this is a, this thing we do every year has two main purposes, at least in my mind. And purpose number one is what Link just said and what Ralph just said. And it's to remember those who have left and remember those who are not doing well or even those who aren't here but can come back and hang out with us again or really just to think about people who mean things to us and, uh, and remind each other that this game, tonight anyway, is really just an interface to the more humane side of us. But moreover and secondarily, it reminds me every year about the strength and cohesiveness that I've, uh, that we found in this group, that we found in this group of, of like-minded video game players and like-minded people. And it's a pretty rare thing. And I feel like I sometimes beat this drum to death, but I think it, on days like this, bears restating that uh, there's real strength in this, and there's power in this. It isn't just a, you know, finite number of polygons with a bunch of balloons sitting on a hill hanging out. There's more to it than this. And having met a lot of you in person and have, have, have had time with many of you in person, this just feels like 
a, a fleshless ex, uh, ex, sort of extension of that. And it's really important that during a time when so much is virtual and so much is connecting us through long distance that we remember sort of the flesh and blood that is on either side. So I'm just grateful to once again belong to a group that is, uh, that cares about such things. And, um, oh man, I just realized just like real life, my character is pacing when I talk. That's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, uh, I'll finish just by saying this. You guys really are amazing and it, and I can't think of a better place to be if something were to happen to me or to someone in my family, I know I'd have this extended group of, of caring people. And I hope you all know the same. It doesn't matter if you've just joined the guild, if you've been here since the beginning, if you were a listener to the instance in 2006 or you just found the show last week and thought you'd check the guild out. It doesn't matter what your status is. You'll have that support system and we'll have your back and we'll always do things we can to help. Uh, when people need it in life or death so uh, thanks for being a part of it and this um, this doesn't really happen without you like like all this stuff it just doesn't happen without you guys so big thanks from me I know the officers feel this way um, and let's just keep this alive for as long as we can for no matter where it takes us no matter what what mode it takes what game we're in it doesn't matter um, it's become more important than just a game or a guild. It's become a, uh, a part of my family. So remember that tonight as we remember those who have fallen. Do any other officers or game directors have anything to say? Like a conversation? Uh, this is this is Tig here. Um, just one thing I want to add in, and I and I usually add this every year when we do this, but I I always think it's an important point that it's not just uh, you know members who, who passed away or particular tragedies that that we might have. It's not just sad stuff. What one of the reasons that that we do this every year is to kind of remind ourselves that no matter. Uh, you know how trivial it may seem that it you know playing video games is and just hanging out with people online is um, building a community like like we have with AIE and keeping it together and doing it when we knew that like, that we were going to wander off into other games and that people would lose interest in one game and wander to another one and the reason that we've been doing everything that we've done over the past couple of years is because we like this sense of community. We like the fact that we know what each other are doing. That that we care about the people that we're that we're playing these games with. That it's not just like you know <laughs> playing uh, playing with the Xbox and uh, you know meeting somebody for a pickup game and cussing at them and being a jerk and going away and never having to deal with that person again um, we we honestly care about these people that we're playing with and they are our real friends and when people say oh well that's just a virtual life and that's just virtual friends and that's a virtual world we can say no nah, yeah that's bull crap this is this is about as real as it gets these are real friends and these are real people and this is you know hey i come home from work and i i hang out with my friends and they may be in other parts of the world and they're in different time zones and they're doing different things but these are my real friends and this there there's nothing about this that is anything short of real. I can attest to that stick and that's not going just ask any of the uh, officers and players that live in, uh, live in the LA area. We regularly get together for occasional drink, we'll come over to my house, go over to their house, invite them for dinner. Heck, I'll, I'll make you dinner.
with anyone. This might sound a little weird, it. but even like even like Nerdtacular has become more. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's not easy to get up in front of seven hundred people and talk. It scares the hell out of me. But looking out there and going, ah, oh, these are just guys I play with. These are dudes I hang out with. You have no idea how comforting that is. So what Stig says is real. There's not. There's no like, it's like if you're up in front of a bunch of people and you see your mom or somebody in your family and you go, oh, okay, at least they're here. They're supporting me. I, I can feel that, that friendship and that support. That's how it felt this year. And it's because there's so many recognizable pe people, plus Ralph in the back going, Bleh! you know, it's just, it's hard to describe how, uh, how, how big of an impact that is on me. And um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Hey, uh, Link, uh, Knocker wanted to say something. Is he unmuted? Hi, I just wanted to say um, and share one of my favorite quotes from another uh, from a sci-fi property. Uh, it was, this is not goodbye, but good memories, and tonight is a celebration of those memories. Thanks, man. All right, so if anyone else, if not, we can go ahead and start with the procession. All right, so. Just a quick note of administrative here. Make sure you put yourself on walk, which means it's if you're on a PC, you can put your phone on your keypad. If you got a Mac, you're out of luck. I don't have a Mac. <laughs> if you have a Mac, what is the key? It's the same key. Assuming they have a 10 key. So I will ask everyone in the raid team to follow your star. And for your raid team, uh, raid team leaders who are not in the primary one, just to follow your Here is where silly little stuff that they've encountered within the community. I'm still waiting for us to outdo Black Friday. I got Let's it. just do it by request. Let people uh, ask and we'll unmute individually. So, if you would like to share something, please say something in the chat and we'll unmute you. Alright, so much less a day you know not speaking to speaking to or being with and that's 
to me how AI is family. So funny story for the not this year's uh, New Tech Year, but the prior New Tech Year, 2012. So there I am with about 10 pounds of pork and about four boxes, well, dozen eggs for uh, for for crane. You'd be horrified to know how many of his stories start out exactly the same way. <laughs> I was going to say, Stig, this is so a lank story, it started out with pork. It, pork is the wonder meat. So, I have, I'm in the, the officer uh, house, I have all these hungry officers, and I have Akuzad who runs up and says, What are you doing? I'm making breakfast. Those pork chops and fried eggs? Yes. And he screams out on the top of his voice, Brilliance! Absolutely freaking brilliant! Mike, I think you should regale them the, of the story of Black Friday, because I think that just also personifies the guild. Ah, uh, totally. Uh, so, Black Friday. So... I, I think I need to premise it with a little bit. Uh, we have some newer folks in the guilds who don't necessarily understand the kind of the where that kind of came from. And it came from a few years ago. Uh, we had an officer by the name of Heloise, and she took it upon herself to start running these alliance raids to help people get bear mount. And it was open to the guild and a lot of folks um, in on the server. And she created the basically the, the blueprint that became the the method of success for us for so many years the problem being of course is that since it was open to so many folks and that people just kind of saw it as nothing more than a bear run some people had a tendency of getting a little serious business jerky about it so knowing this and wanting to kind of build on that and wanting to get as many <laughs> onto a black bear as possible because as you all know I am a bloodthirsty kind of PvP kind of player just ask anyone who's ever been in one of these raids or in a raid with me or anyone in EVE Online for that matter yep so I started you know you know I should make this kind of like a semi formalized team and it needs a name but it needs a name that exudes fun and frivolity and just you know non-seriousness so I was eating one of those like orange sickles and on the 